going to start with the cat and we're going to take a look at one particular block that we're going to use a number of times. It's under the look section and it is change color effect by. Now this block is an interesting one to explore because it has a number of drop down options but on the cat right now we're just going to look at changing the color. I'm going to use a similar block sequence to the dance party project in the events section when the green flag is clicked and under control forever. When I click on the green flag a really great way to explore the change effect block is using a backdrop. So I'm going to access the backdrop library and I'm going to choose a backdrop that I know is going to look pretty good with some different effects. I'm going to choose the stripes. You can choose any one that you want. And let's take a look at this same block sequence on the backdrop. I'll click the green flag. Now my backdrop has changed. With this project, I recommend that you set up, when the space key is pressed, clear graphic effects. So I can now press on the space key and it's going to reset everything back. Now you can explore the rest of these yourself. I'm going to stick with whirl for the backdrop. But what I would like to do is I would like to make it whirl to a certain point and then come back to this normal backdrop. To do that, we need to take a look at using the repeat block. So I can change these values until I get the effect I want. I've now got a setup that I like. I'm going to put a negative here so that it's then going to go backwards. I click on the green flag. So that my backdrop keeps on changing, I'm going to put a forever loop around the outside, green flag. It's time to add another sprite. Now using the same idea of having a forever loop and two repeats, I'm going to explore another Effect using the beetle. Start with events when the green flag is clicked. Repeat under looks, change effect. This time I'm going to use fisheye. I'm going to copy this block of code again using the duplicate button and change this to a negative integer. Click on the green flag. Now the extra thing that I need is my forever loop to go around the outside, so that's going to keep on repeating. It's also a good idea to set up a space bar and clear graphic effects. Let's add another one. I would like the butterfly to get bigger and smaller. Changing size is not in the drop down menu here, but there is another block, change size by. Continually get bigger and smaller and bigger and smaller. I'm going to add the reset block of code when the space bar is clicked, but this time I want to set the size back to 100%. I'm going to add one more sprite that has a number of different effects happening at the same time. Now to begin with I'm going to have the bananas flying and bouncing off the edges like we did with the hippo. and change in here the rotation style. So now my banana will move and bounce, move and bounce. It's going a little bit too fast. I'm going to slow that down to five steps. I'm going to add a change color effect to this. So I'm going to add change color, drop it into here so it's going to move. If it's on the edge, it's going to bounce and it's going to change color. I would now like to add another graphic effect, but in the same way that we did with the beetle and the butterfly. And I'm going to choose pixelate. Duplicate. So 
So I'm going to move this down to about 5 and negative 5. And think about placing my sprites around the screen a little bit. I know this one grows, so I'll give it some room. Click on the green flag. Now you can explore some different effects, add some more sprites and fill up your screen with all sorts of crazy effects. Enjoy.